Welcome back to the Guggen Channel. This is fishing Walmart's cheapest combo challenge. Oh! I'm gonna keep at it. This is gonna happen. Oh, I got one. I got a new. Oh god! Oh, he's running! He's running! Dude. Ah, oh, dude, my. Little... Okay, so we're gonna be doing a little bit of a challenge today. I flew this son of a gun all the way out to Florida. Yes, all the way out to Florida to come fish with me. He didn't bring any type of rod or reel or nothing. So guess what? We're making that mistake. We're about to hop into here at Walmart and we're gonna get the cheapest combo they have and that's what he's gotta use in this video. I'm not scared. I'm such a good dangler. I could dangle with a whatever they got in there, man. <laughs> Where did that, that accent just come from? <laughs> I don't I'm, know. Yeah, I'm the daggum swamp. I just come out with a daggum swamp accent. Oh, you I'm a Cajun. You know I'm a Cajun. <laughs> I can handle it with a Cajun, boy. Shoot him. <laughs> you guys stay tuned. This is going to be a spicy one here. We are now approaching the fishing section here at Walmart in search of the combo. Oh, I'm already seeing yeah, see vibrant him. color. Oh. Dude, we should, we, should, we should make you dangle with one of these. Oh, that's an upgrade, dude. That's like, that's a big pole. I thought you were gonna give me, look at this, $9.99, $9.98. That's incredible. In today's inflation rate, this is like $4 just a year ago. Well, wow, that's actually really impressive. Yeah. Nine. This one's $4. Oh, it's on, yeah, it's on discount. This that is thing's the $4. LOL, the LOL squad. Oh, dude, they got PJ. Oh my gosh, I'm about to buy this for my daughter. It's like her favorite PJ masks. Incredible. Why is it so short? Line on, ready to go? Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Missing now, guy. make sure don't don't give me a missing guide now. Make sure this thing is actually up, legit. Straight up bangle nugget right here. Let me check it. Let me get the full oh my spectrum. God. This thing's. It's got line in it, yeah, I think, right? I'm. I don't know. I'm about the action. It's got line. Oh, God. Gotcha. Look at that. Look at that action there. Get the old look. Dude, that's good. Eyelets look good. Look at this little whip right here. A little whip cast. I'm gonna stick them. If I don't break this rod before I get it out of the store, I'm about this deal. And I'm about this bass. <laughs> it's probably the same model. What is this one? No, oh, this the, is a slingshot. Sling. <laughs> I'm, let me okay. tell you something. The slingshot, it has the right action. It's the whip that I need to properly get my lure in the good locations. You're really about to surf right This is here. called the tiger. No tiger. So what are these, like free? I don't know, there's nothing on, there's no price tags on them. Why about dragons? You know what, I bet these are like ones that people bring back. I'm gonna take this slingshot and slingshot my way into this budget challenge. <laughs> I saw that, I picked that up on the floor actually. <laughs> oh yeah. That one's really. This is like. This it's is actually. Like crappie. Yeah, like bluegill, bluegill crappie. crappie stuff. But uh. Okay, good. I thought we were gonna get in yeah. trouble, as we usually do. This is the first time we've ever been in here, and there's not Shania Twain playing in this section right here. Pretty impressive. <laughs> All right, boys, we loaded down with that combo. Now we'll see you guys on the water. Ah! Fishing Black Friday sale is live now. Anglers can save up to 75% off Guggen Sightwide. The more you purchase on GuggenSquad.com, the more chances you have to win this beautiful bass boat. Don't miss out. Visit GuggenSquad.com and get the shot. We made it to the lake, folks. Rain just cleared up. It's time to go fishing. Nine ninety nine, folks. There she is. I don't even know what pound test is on the slingshot. Probably ten, if I had to guess. Uh, you know, got the old zip tie on there. Make sure when that ten pounder gets on, when this thing separates, I'm gonna have a fair chance. Oh man, just look at look at around us. It's just super thick cover. It's so nasty. How am I supposed to get anything out of here? Using this, I mean, in another video we've been filming this week, we're using 65 pound braid and like the stiffest poles possible just to get fish out. They're still getting off. So my only chance is to just try to get a fish out in the open. So I'm gonna rig this pole up, probably put a uh, exposed hook, like a wacky rig on, 
throw a lunker log on here and hang on. Let's try to set this drag as tight as it will go and see if the rod will hold up, which I think it will. <laughs> Might have just ended this experiment there. <laughs> Fish literally destroyed my shit. I'm ready to go. Rob, let's get to our first hole, buddy. Yeah, I've been bebobbing around Florida for a couple weeks now. And I have caught one over 10, caught an eight, some other. I just caught a lot of bunch of fish. And I will say I have not been here yet. This year, this used to be one of my favorite lakes, but they sprayed it because Florida sucks sometimes. I've actually never fished this side of the lake. I usually fish back in that corner, but Rathley's real antsy to get to fishing, so he just wanted to put the trolling motor down and get going. Oh, so it's just gonna blame it on me if we don't catch any fish. I see how you set that up there, <laughs> Look who's got, look, look at this equipment difference. He shouldn't lose challenges. <laughs> what did I lose to deserve this? Uh, you didn't bring a rod. So I had to buy you a rod. Hey, for $10, I'm not mad at it, honestly. It's hard to get anything for $10 these days. You can't even get a cheeseburger for $10. So to have a fishing rod combo with line on it, I'd say it's not, that's not bad. The two, the 2.8 gear ratio, that's, that's a bummer. There's a lot of bummer things about it, but it's getting you out in the water. It's better than a hand line. Look at that. Oh, it's an aneurysm on that cast. <laughs> Catch fish, huh? Yeah, this is when I need like one of those little one pounder. Dude, I just broke off. Just broke the first fish, dude. Sick. Of course, the first fish I had was like a six pounder. <laughs> just inhaled the jig and I was like, oh, it won't actually eat it. Broke my line, and then Rob literally threw right in there afterwards. Fish hit his too, it swirled, it was massive, so. I need like a one pounder for this, right? I don't need the six, this is gonna be really tough, but uh, yeah, broke my line, first first fish, awesome. Let's find another bait. What should I do right here? Should I put some braid on here? Should I just try to catch a fish as is? What should I do? Let me know right now. This is a punishment really for me, because I'm, I'm, I'm here in Florida. I always catch small fish in Florida. I just had a big bite and I missed it. I don't want to ha have that happen again. What should I do? Oh, I just spooked another one right there. Come on, big bass. Wes, call, call the big bass up for me, please. Oh, there he is, Wes. It's a giant. Good call, Wes. Oh, yeah. yeah, Rob caught one. No surprise there, really. I'm gonna throw a zinger on, see what happens here. We're gonna bump up our knot here to uh, Palomar. He'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> Just jumps out. It's a 10 pounder, dude. That's probably what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a ridiculous fish. Oh, there's one. There's one, Wes. It's in the grass. It is really in the grass. This is gonna be the problem with the Zebco. There it goes. Just even that fish right there yeah. gets in the grass. That thing gets in the grass and it's even difficult. Boink, which is funny because these fish are the ones that are connecting. And we had two bigs right out the gate. This happy trailer, I'm telling you guys, if you guys throw bladed jigs, this thing is succulent. Blow, blow, salmon, oh, win. Look at the bait that's flickering. All right, Rob. That was good. You like that? Good. Oh. Yeah, premature release there. <laughs> really good. The brand new XL Blazing Worm, baby. All right, we're gonna be throwing this thing around today. I've got a seven odd hook. Yes, you heard me correctly. A seven odd. This is a big time bait. These are for the for the men and women at home that aren't afraid to, to whoop it out. That didn't really make too much sense, but you guys know where I was going with that. Oh my dangle nugget! Look at this thing. Big old seven eight. Come on, eat a eat a boomer bait for me. Eat this. Oh god! Oh my god, dude! You dig it? Oh, oh dude. there's no way I have this fish on. Oh, he came off. Freaking giant, dude! <laughs> giant. Did you hear that drag? There was. The, I couldn't do anything. It was just. This is probably not the lake to do this challenge on. These are giants that are hitting me. I know. Two biggest bites I've had on this trip have been on this freaking pole. I wasn't even close to getting a hook into that one. It was just, just drag, just. 
saw it was. Oh my god, dude! Oh. So I'm gonna keep trying. If I if that happens again, I am I'm gonna put some braid on here. I'm determined now. It's like pissing me off. I want to catch one on this thing. I'm actually getting some good slinging action from the slingshot pole. It's just it doesn't have any backbone. I don't have any hump. So if I put braid on here, I might break the rod. But I'll, I'll get a, a hook set and then we can deal with that later. If it would calm down, I would maybe throw a worm out there. Oh, oh, oh got one, dude. There? No. Oh, wait, no, I'm hung on something. Oh, shit, dude. What the heck? I can't, I mean, I can't even tell. I can't even tell what I have. There's no sensitivity. Got her. Oh, 100%, yeah. That, this, is that right there? There he is. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good one. Oh, it's a mudfish. Oh, it's a mud. Is it? I don't know. It looks like a bass. It's yeah. long. I thought it was flopping around, dude. There's a good one. I thought that was a dang mudfish the way it was acting. Oh, it was crazy. It was like flopping around. You don't see that too often with bass. Not a not a terrible one. About a two and a half younders. Oh, younder. Man, I switched back over to the bladed jig with the old happy trailer. If you guys have not seen the happy trailers, you guys need to check these things out. So I pretty much only throw black and blue and white bladed jigs. Now this is the white pearl shad happy trailer. This thing is phenomenal. I mean it lasts multiple multiple fish. I did the, I did a video the other day and I think I got 11 fish out of just one of these things. They were made phenomenally and I would actually say yes. I know a lot of you guys know this. I used to use the Zacco, the Yamamoto one. That's a good one but the problem with it is it's too heavy. It kind of bounds up and it breaks really easily. So when we build this one it's narrow. It lasts a really long time and it has tremendous action. Look at that, you guys see that right there? See how much it bends? When this blade knocks off that head, it allows this tail just to go all crazy type of ways. Look at that, a oh, little floppy. So you guys need to check this thing out if you guys saw a bladed jig a lot. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal trailer. Oh, 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 right off the side of the boat, baby. He's excited to be in the arms of <laughs> That's what he felt, you know what I mean? Look at this, babe. Hey, cool. Yeah, wow. Well, Rob just caught another one. Um, guys, I'm out here grinding my gears. Literally grinding my gears. I think I'm going to switch to braid so I can at least have some sensitivity. Uh, I'm debating, like, should I leave this reel on? I could put another reel on here or just, or just put braid on. I feel like to really do the thing justice, I just should put braid on this reel and try to get a fish on it. If I can get a fish on this, I'll feel very accomplished. Okay, we got her loaded. We're loaded down. We got plenty of line. I'm ready now. I have a direct connection, no stretch, to my bait, swim jig. If I get a bite, you, are get, you guys are gonna see this rod either snap or it's just gonna be a big bend. I am feeling everything right now. Everything do I've done in my recent life, Maybe my past line, life, my back is killing me. Oh! <laughs> Where's your rod at? Uh. I don't even know where you're at. Uh. I just have grass on here now. Uh. Let's go towards it, man. Let's go towards it, man. Oh, dude, I just felt stuff coming out. Where do I got him? Oh, it's just grass now. Oh man, dude. I gave him everything I had, dude. Drag log with braid. He was probably like a pound. Guys, this is a serious challenge. I'm gonna keep at it. This is gonna happen. I'm gonna keep at it. Check. I didn't work so thick. Oh! Freaking smashed it, dude! Did you see that hook set, guys? I had him hooked, but I could not catch up. This was perfect, too, because it was open water. He hit it close to the top. Got me! Oh! Not giving up.
that uh, it might have just ended this experiment there. <laughs> that fish literally destroyed my sh**. <laughs> I have a discontinued digital reel from years past that's one of the nicest reels made. I should probably put it on here. May have to. But guys, I had a great stump right there. I mean, setting the hook. It's not like I'm getting tiny bites today, which is crazy on this thing. Just got to keep grinding. Just got to get that right fish. It stays with it. So, uh oh, here he goes. Oh, oh, I got one. I got him, dude. Oh, God. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. Oh, dude. My Come on. Oh, it's a gun. It's a gun. It's a real one. It's a gun. You're real. Oh, it's real. Come on. Holy s. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. First cast. Oh, no. He's gone. Oh, no. He's gone, dude. Son of a. Did it almost count? You touched it, right? No, I grabbed the line to help you out, and then it, it he took off, and I let go because it was going to burn my hand. You should have grabbed him. You're, that was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was big. That's what I got right here, guys. So this is a 5-inch black and blue lunker log. I put a little band on it. Put this 2-aught Green Series uh, wacky rig hook on it. It's perfect, too, because it's, it's slightly offset. So all I have to do is pull into the fish, and that hook will turn. And get into them like like it just did there but not having uh the monofilament it's a blessing and a curse because the monofilament is kind of nice has that stretch the braid is just straight on there and he was tugging really hard i thought we were going to land him and he probably just made a little bit of hole made a made a gap to where the next time he came up and jumped he was able to get that that hook out of his his face i got one dude. oh, oh! Oh yeah, I'm holding just like a Zebco picture should be. Just like this for my life. Hey guys, look at this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm feeling accomplished right now. This might be the only fish I could actually land size <laughs> But uh, we finally got on a little something here, getting some, some bites. And this one I was able to rip from the depths, bring him out of the grass and get him up to the top and just sling him in real quick. <laughs> like. This is, this is all I can do. You guys saw the last fish. It was bending the tip of the rod under the boat. The reel popped apart. It was a lot to handle. This may be the only thing the slingshot can't handle right here. But I did it. Oh. Yes. yes. Oh, it's a big it. Big it. That was on the that was on the XL. Blazing worm XL, baby. Get that baby up here. Come on now. You gonna swing it or how we doing? Ah, uh, it's quite ways quite a bit. With all, With the, all grass. the grass. Yeah, there it is. Somewhere in there. Blazing XL bass. That is spawned out as all can be. Look at that thing. Oh my god, I'm still. Still got him, dude. Still got him! Still got him! Come on, baby! Yo! Yeah. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! I did it, though. Wow, you really got him. Yours is a little bigger, just a little bit, but you know. I think they eat. Yeah. Big things have small beginnings. That's what I say. Did it, boys! I'm proud of you. This is this has been a good challenge. Been a really good challenge. Now, you know it's time to do a serious, like an actual serious. I know, angle. we've been kind of warming up here. You guys need to just lock in, stay tuned. We're actually uh, just getting warmed up and we're gonna do some more fishing out here. Rob just figured out a little something that I like. I got some ideas. You need to go check out all of our new baits. We got a lot of new things that have dropped. We got the new jig heads. We got the saucy slimmers. We have the pitter worm. We have the new blazing worm, XL. A lot of things going on, guys. So check them out, googidsquad.com. Use your favorite creator's code and save 10% at checkout. And thank you for tuning in to this challenge today. Let us know in the comments what you want to see more of. And we'll see you on another episode of the Googan Squad. Thank you
Stop! Fishing Black Friday sale is live now. Anglers can save up to 75% off Guggen site-wide. The more you purchase on GuggenSquad.com, the more chances you have to win this beautiful bass boat. Don't miss out. Visit GuggenSquad.com and get to shopping.